Okay, I want to show you the development of the SCOBY. So I made this, I only made this on Saturday. Uh, it's summer in Ottawa. It's super warm. So this SCOBY is developing right away. You could see it just starting to form a film if I touch it. There you can see that tension there. It's a very thin, clear SCOBY at this point. So this is just day two and your SCOBY will develop so much faster when it's at the right temperature. It's looking beautiful. The mothers, I put a couple of them in because it was a bigger container, are floating around there. And uh, let's see this tomorrow. All right, continuing on with our SCOBY development. So it's been about three more days since the last video. And you can see the SCOBY's really developed. It's been hot here in Ottawa, so it's been developing really quickly so we could see this daughter scoby on the top and the mother has joined it has floated up and it doesn't really matter if the mother comes up and joins with the top one or not but it often happens so i just want to show you that this is now a lot firmer it's getting a lot more white and i just want to show you the thickness here of that daughter scoby so not super thick at this point if you wanted to you could take that out and drink your kombucha. It will be quite sweet, but I'm gonna leave it for a couple more days. Let that scoby thicken up and develop more and let everything ferment a little bit longer. So we'll take a look at it then. All right, just wanna update you on the development of the scoby. You could see that it's really thickened up and it's kind of whitish. Sorry, there's a fruit fly flying overhead. Um, there were some parts of it sticking up like right here and what happens is sometimes because the fermentation process uh, creates carbon dioxide it gets trapped underneath so parts of it will stick up if it gets exposed to air and after a while it may get kind of scabby now this isn't bad for you it isn't bad for the kombucha it just doesn't look nice so if you don't want it to happen just push out these air bubbles and uh, just make sure there's a little bit of liquid on top but this is looking pretty good to go so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to taste it make sure it's at a sweet and sourness level i like if it's not sour enough i'll leave it a little bit longer um, but if it's at a level i like i'll either drink it or i will strain it add some flavorings and bottle it let it ferment a little bit longer so it gets fizzier and uh, then i will enjoy it i hope you and have enjoyed this little video on scoby development hopefully it helps you out Thanks so much, everyone.